Lord. Hallelujah. I bring to you the message of salvation. Are you saved? Remember, if you are not saved, you are not saved. Your eternal security is not secure. Do you know the meaning of salvation? What is salvation? Salvation simply means deliverance from sin and its consequences brought about by faith in Christ Jesus. Therefore, you cannot save yourself, which means salvation does not come by self-righteousness. It doesn't come by observance of law. It doesn't come by good works. As a matter of fact, in Ephesians chapter 2, I read verse 8 to 9. It says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourself, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Salvation is a grace, is the gift of God to us through Christ Jesus. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So through Adam, death entered the world. All died through Adam. So also through Christ Jesus, faith in him, what he did on the cross of Calvary, will bring life to everyone who believes. You can't be saved without acknowledging Jesus as your Lord and Savior because he paid the price of death for the wages of sin is death and therefore the wrath of God was upon him after he satisfied God's justice system God's punishment was upon him and God put his righteousness on him if anyone wants to obtain righteousness he had to believe that Jesus died for him and therefore salvation is by faith in Jesus and you become righteous by faith in what he has done for you and therefore if you are thinking before by giving alms to the poor or building orphanage homes or having program for the widows or giving scholarship we bring salvation that is not true that is called good works the bible says by good works no one shall be saved because no one can save himself the righteousness of man is like a filthy rag and therefore you need to acknowledge that you are a sinner you have the deprived nature you were born a sinner you inherited the nature of adam the nature of sin you you are not taught how to sin but you inherited it and therefore for you to be saved from eternal condemnation from eternal punishment you need to acknowledge the free gift of god Jesus declared that I am the way, the truth, and the life. That no one can come to the Father except through him. And therefore, the statement of Jesus should not be taken for granted. It is absolute, it's supreme, it's categorical. There's no other way wherever salvation is ordained. In the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, verse 12, the apostle said that there is no name given under heaven whereby we might be saved except the name of Jesus. Jesus is the only way, no other option, no alternative. If if you are not accepting me as your Lord and Savior, you are not saved. Once you are saved, God gives you the Holy Spirit as a guarantee that you belong to Him. In the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 9, it says, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you don't belong to Him because the Holy Spirit is the DNA that's true that you belong to God. And therefore, by the Holy Spirit, you can call Abba Father. You are a child of God when you give your life to Christ Jesus. Where God is the creator of everybody, but He's not the Father of everybody. The fatherhood of God comes to place when you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. In John chapter 1 verse 12, it said, As many as believe in him, he gives them power to become the children of God. You become a child of God. God becomes your father. Otherwise, God is the creator of everybody, but he's not the father of everybody. You come your father and you become a child of God when you accept the salvation that comes through Christ Jesus. This truth should be made known to you. Don't allow anybody to deceive you. Your self-righteousness cannot save you. Your good works cannot save you. God will reward you for your good works. When you give, God will bless you. When you help people, God will bless you. But it cannot bring salvation from sin because salvation means deliverance from sin and its consequences that comes by faith in Christ Jesus alone. No Jesus, no salvation, no forgiveness of sin, no eternal life. If your sin is in you and you are not repentant, it cannot be forgiven. If you die, you can't make heaven. After death, there's no repentance. Remember, it is appointed unto men wants to die. After that, the judgment. And therefore, while you are still breathing, while you are alive, you need to reconsider your situation and your condition. Don't be pursuing material thing at the expense of your soul. What shall he profit a man if he gave the whole world and lose his soul? For the life of a man does not consist the border what he possess. You need to know that one day you will die. If you die, where are you going? Where are you spending your eternity? Are you going to spend it in heaven or in hell? Have you repented? Remember, God loves you. That's why he sent Jesus to die for you. It's not enough to go to church. You can be a church goer. You can be full of activity in the church. You can even call yourself apostle or prophet. 
you can be able to find for position. You may have position in the church, yet you are not saved. I may go to Israel every year for pilgrimage, and you bath in the River Jordan, and you took picture there. That's not the call to salvation. That is religious activity. If you are not saved, there is no transformation. Salvation is a personal experience that brings about supernatural transformation. And this comes when you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. And when your sin is forgiven, there will be a sign of inner joy. The Bible call it joy unspeakable on the inside. You need that personal experience. If you are not saved, there are no future for you, no eternity for you. You may be born to a Christian family. You may be going to church from beginning, right from childhood. That is religious. That is religious activity. That is not salvation. Have you met Christ Jesus? In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17, he said, if anyone is in Christ Jesus, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. Not anyone in the church. You can be in the church and not be in Christ. You must be in Christ Jesus to be transformed. Salvation is forgiveness of sin. Salvation is total transformation. Salvation is a spiritual experience. I plead with you that you repent and say to Jesus, have mercy upon me. You may ask me, how do I get saved? The Bible says in Romans chapter 10, verse 9 to 10, that if you believe in your heart that God sent Jesus and he died for you, from your heart you believe unto righteousness. And when you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, by confession you are confessing unto salvation. And therefore, for you to be saved, you need to believe that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. And you confess with your mouth and ask him for forgiveness and say, Jesus, come into my land, forgive me all my sin. I believe in you. And by so doing, by faith, you'll be engrafted into Christ and you'll be transformed, translated from darkness to life, from death to life. You become a child of God. And as you study the Bible to build up your faith, you begin to know more about God. May God reveal himself to you. May God show you the way of salvation. May God confirm his message in your life. May you be blessed. Thank you. God bless you.